Hi friends, how are you? So I wanted to talk a little bit about hashtags today. Um, so I am going, so I have my Instagram page open and I wanna kind of go over some things. So I'm gonna give you a couple of tips, um, at least three tips for sure. Now the first tip is you wanna make sure that you have between three and five sets of hashtags. And there will be 30 sets of hash, I mean 30 hashtags, sorry, in each set, okay? So that's um, <laughs> 90 to 150 hashtags. Whew. Now, success is intentional. And finding these hashtags will take effort and it will take um, you kind of sitting and scrolling and figuring it all out. Once you get a set, you see how they perform and you decide where to go from there. Now, when you are looking for your hashtags, you want to make sure that the hashtags are going to be relevant to your audience. And you want to make sure that they're between about roughly two, 200 to 400,000. Now, let's just say, because I help entrepreneurs um, with their client getting activities, let's type in entrepreneur. That is who I want to work with. 59 million. My post will not see the light of day. Okay. The more popular posts will always supersede my posts. Okay. So let's just say under here, you can say, um, so guys, I'm not really reading the, uh, the post, but maybe I'll read this one. And if I ask you to name all the things that you love, how long would it take for you to name yourself? Ooh, that was a good one. I almost skipped out on a good one. Um, so under here, this person is like a, I'm not sure, a motivational person. So uh, to do, do, let's just go to inspiration. This should be another million, oh, well over a million, 157 million. Um, so these are some other ideas. They're going to give you some related hashtags. So then you can go in here and say, <clears throat> sorry if you heard that. Gosh, 11 million. We're still getting like way too many. Let's try. These seem really popular. So they're going to be like high. 1.4. So what you can do um, is start to look under these people's hashtags. Now, these are the top posts. So this is like 1.4 million, and these are the top posts, the ones that are getting the most engagement. Um, so they're going to be really high numbers. Okay. Uh, and these are the most recent posts. So these are recent, but not nearly as high um, of a number for engagement. Okay. You see the difference between the top ones? So these will be at the top. But what you can do is click on one of these and do decide if you want to start exploring some of their hashtags if you are in interested in the same audience. Now, this person has, let's go back out, a thousand likes, 21 comments. I'm going to bet that they have a ton of followers because they're not, they didn't use many hashtags. Okay. We got you. We got you. Um, okay, so how many has so how many followers? Fourteen thousand. That's a pretty good amount. Um, let's see. Do they use hashtags? Do 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 do. She she. This is a branding hashtag. Let's just go here. These are her. These are her. Some a lot of her posts. Probably. So let's go back out to see. So it's like going down <laughs> in a deep, dark hole to find what you're looking for um, to get your hashtags. But eventually, you will get them. Okay? Let's see if she, if that is like a branding post, something that she posts on a ton of her stuff. We got you. Oh, boom. She has hashtags here. So self-space. This is a low one. So your stuff may kind of hover at the top, but it's going to be on a hashtag that has not gained traction yet. Okay. 
So most recent is down here, but these are at the top. So it may stay up in the feed or up under the hashtag for a while, but not many people are coming over here just yet. So if it's something that you're interested in, this hashtag um, may grow. So you can put this on um, when it's time to update your hashtags, you can put one like this on the list. Okay, so I want to find a hashtag that is like a really good one. So let's go to um, where did I get CEO babe from? Maybe CEO mindset. I don't know. I am just like literally shooting from the hip. I'm going to show you mine in a second. And this is one that I have. So this is a little lower than I was mentioning with the 200 to 400. Either you can put this on the list to kind of visit later or you can use it. I am using this one. Um, and then, like I said, you go to the other ones and then you see where they are and you decide. Now, you may want to get a couple on that the high end um higher than 400,000 but beware that as it becomes popular it's going to send your stuff into this weird space um i also have this one got to stay focused okay so that is how you kind of find your hashtags you look at these posts and you decide if you want to be associated with it and you go from there then Let's see. So let's go to my page now. We'll go over here. Um, this is my profile. You want to let people know out of the gate who you are. So I help with um, digital marketing and systems. Okay. And once you focus on your client getting and revenue generating activities, you will grow your business. There is no doubt about that. Once you implement systems to clean up the way that you're doing things in your business, you will grow your business. Okay. So here I have my email. Um, if so wants to talk to me in the email and then I have a free marketing guide which you have gotten okay um, this is my mentor friend and coach Jenny she and she has an amazing online workshop going on right now so um, she has a really streamlined approach and she's she's so she likes to use systems just as I do so it really benefits Bit, ugh, benefited me <laughs> to be in her program. I learned a ton. You have your own personal copy coach. A copy coach is when you cannot get the words that you want to describe your people. Like these ladies in this group, they really kind of encourage you to grow outside of your comfort zone and get the results that you came for. Okay. So and uh, this is her friend, Kendrick Shope, who is a darling. <laughs> um, so let me just show you about what's going on over here with my hashtag. So here are my hashtags. And I'm going to pick a couple, couple of them and show you. See if I'm living up to what I said. That's a little lower. Lower end. That's one. Let's do another one. <laughs> That's a little, that's a little higher. So you just kind of got to gauge and see what you get. Okay. Boom. That's a little lower. Uh, ladypreneur. Where do we stand? This one hits in the middle. And just make sure, like I said, that you want to be associated. So number one, set up three to five sets of hashtags. Number two. Get them to hang out roughly between 200 and 400,000. Uh, number three, make sure that you want to be associated with the hashtags. Um, and the way that you can kind of travel down and start finding hashtags is you click on one that you like and then you search for related hashtags. Okay. Now, the last tip that I'm going to give you today is what if you are hearing crickets? 
This lady is gorgeous. She has 1,200 people, 301 comments. These are the top posts. What if you're down here in your most recent, let's see, you have seven hearts, one comment. What you want to do, very nice room, very nice. What you want to do then is go and hang out with these people that liked your stuff and talk to them. So if they're not yet coming to your party, then you go to their party. <laughs> Just think of it as being in a room with people and you're in the corner and you're like eating your um, whatever and no one's chatting with you. You're not just gonna stay in the corner. Maybe you will, but <laughs> on social, we're gonna mingle. So I would recommend that you talk to these people, okay? Start a conversation, go and like their stuff, click on them, talk to them, see what's up with them, okay? Now, let's, let, me add, let me tell you this. What if you go and talk to, let's say, let me go back here. Like, what if you go and talk to girllily.com, okay? Hey, girllily.com, boom, she's doing decent. She has a good ratio of followers to following. Um, and that is just me. I'm not sure how great she's doing. That's just me looking at her stuff really quickly. So if you want to, like, start interacting with her, then start interacting with her content, okay? Let's see. So she posted 23 hours ago. She posted one day ago. Looks like she's going to be an everyday poster. She posted three days ago. Okay, that's that's pretty consistent. Uh, four days ago, so she's pretty consistent. Five, five, five days ago, I was like, wait a minute. Okay, so five days ago, so on and so forth. So, uh, so you want to go if you want to kind of hang out with girl Lily, come over here to her party, hang out with her. After a while, she's going to notice, and she may decide to follow you back. And she may decide to start engaging with your posts. So now girllily.com, she says, who's ready to have an awesome weekend too? Boom, drop a smiley. Now, when you are asking people to engage with you, you want them to do more than drop a smiley. Um, because you want them, um, one of my mentors told me that the, the algorithm responds more to like sentences as opposed to just emojis. So you can definitely follow what she has here on hers, but um, you will just want to probably leave that part off of yours and just say, who wants to have an awesome weekend? Or that would be like a me. You will respond me. <laughs> but so you would say, um, tell me what you tell me or share the plan that you have for your weekend below. That's how you would do that. OK, so. If you are not getting the engagement that you want, you go out and engage. You can engage on posts. You can engage in stories. You can start conversation, okay? Now, I hope that that has been really helpful for you. Um, if it has, share this video with a friend and um, come back to the group and ask any questions that you may have, okay? As you notice, um, Okay, full disclosure, I don't hang out over here much. But <laughs> my posts with pictures do better. This one just got posted today. But my posts with pictures do better, or faces do better, okay? So that is what I have for you today about Instagram. I hope that it has been helpful. Please, please, please come back to the group. Ask any questions that you may have. I... um. I think I, I got sidetracked with one of my questions. So, I mean, one of my thoughts, and I want to really say it. <coughs> Excuse me. What I wanted to say is when you go and um, decide to start conversations with these people, and you may be thinking, what if they unfollow me? What if they, what if they decide that they don't want to interact with me? I want to tell you that the best way to look at that is celebrate the ones that respond and celebrate the ones that leave. Can I get a yes and an amen? Because you want to build a community of people of like-minded individuals. You want these people to 
just kind of support you like family, right? So if you have a people have a person that gets a bit skittish, if you reach out to them, that's not who you want in your circle, right? So when you interact with them, either you will grow the relationship or you will put more space between them, between you and them, okay? Perfectly fine. So just decide that when you reach out to these people and start communicating with them, that, that we're celebrating either way, right? We're celebrating either way. You don't necessarily have to follow them, but you can start a conversation with them, okay? So that is what I wanted to share. And like any other place that you are, right? Start the conversation. And if it comes time to share your business, share your services, feel free to do that with confidence and know that the people that are meant for you are for you and the people that will go away will go away. So go out, work hard, show up on Instagram, engage, and um, it's your year. I want to let me know which tip helped you, which tip you're going to try. I know that this is a big one about talking to these people, right? I know this is a big one. Uh, you want your community to be engaged. When you start a conversation, they'll think they'll think about it. They'll think about, or sorry, when they see your post in the future, they'll be more apt to actually answer <laughs> your your call to action. Okay. I hope this has been helpful, people. I'm going to get out of here. Talk to you later. Bye.